Hi everybody! Let's join Captain Discovery as we explore the secret behind the door of one of the largest bubblegum factories in the world. Did you know that each year, over 100 million pounds of bubblegum are chewed worldwide? Enough to wrap around the Earth more than three times if stretched into a single strand? This video will take you to a colorful world where beloved bubblegum was born. For thousands of years, the Mayan and Aztec peoples used a natural resin from the chicle tree to create a viscous chewing gum. In 1860, the first chewing gum was commercialized when Thomas Adams, an American, began producing chewing gum from chicle. During the 1920s, the Fleer Chewing Gum Company invented foaming gum, ushering in a new age for the chewing gum industry. Recall the last time you chewed a piece of gum. Now imagine the complex manufacturing process behind it. Preparation of ingredients. Firstly, it's necessary to prepare the required ingredients for chewing gum production, which include natural or synthetic rubber, sugar, glucose, and various flavorings. A question that every child must have wondered, why can't they swallow gum? That's because the base layer of chewing gum, which provides its chewiness, is made from polymer compounds found in synthetic or natural rubber making it indigestible by our digestive system. At the same time, synthetic rubber is also a factor contributing to the unique characteristic of bubble blowing and chewing gum, as synthetic rubber is an elastic material, allowing air bubbles to be trapped and expanded when pressure increases from blowing. After preparing the necessary ingredients, workers carefully measure them according to the prescribed ratio. Melting and mixing. Ingredients are placed into a high temperature cooker, where they are melted and stirred continuously. This process can last between one to two hours. Adding flavors and colors. Do you enjoy chewing gum? Are you enamored by its satisfying chew and burst of flavor? This step is key to creating the orange, mango, grape, and apple flavors found in your favorite gum. During the mixing stage, flavors and colors are added to the pliable dough. Cutting. The dough pieces are placed on conveyor belts and passed through the molding machine to form small dough strips. Afterward, they are cut into various shapes depending on the type of gum.
Some varieties are placed in the sugar kneading machines, which resemble giant dryers that transform ordinary candies into attractive colors. How many types of gum mentioned in this video have you tried? Please comment to let me know. Packaging. Finally, each piece is packaged in appropriate materials to maintain freshness and extend shelf life. The finished candies are wrapped in paper and then packed into packets. Alternatively, some are packaged in plastic jars. Packets of chewing gum are ready to be shipped to supermarkets. Environmental considerations. Chewing gum's elastic polymers degrade slowly due to their design, lasting for years in natural environments like soil or water. To deal with this problem, rubber factories employ eco-friendly practices, including waste management, advanced technologies, and the use of recycled materials to minimize environmental impact. Thanks for exploring the bubblegum production process with us. If you're amazed by the blend of technology and craftsmanship we showcase, like, share, and comment your thoughts below. Don't forget to subscribe to Captain Discovery for more interesting journeys.